at around 8 p.m. in the evening. After long hours of intense labor, my mom gave birth to a bouncy baby girl. That girl was none other than me. My parents told me they were so excited to welcome me into this world, and so were my grandparents. Everyone wanted to give me a name. As a result, I ended up with three beautiful names. Musisiwe, Zodwa, Sylvia. I love my names. I use all of them. Actually, sometimes I even forget how I have introduced myself to different people. <laughs> At other times, my names help me to remember how um, I have come into contact with different people. I come from a family of five girls, me being the second born, daddy's favorite. I loved him equally the same. This may sound a bit cliche, but I drew a lot of um, encouragement and a lot of wisdom from him, like the notion that education is the key to success. It has been 15 years since he has passed on, but I still miss him. Even though my mother has been a pillar of my strength and a very good support system to my sisters and I, I still wish my dad was here. When I was eight years old, my parents sent me to go and live with my grandmother in Jamiston. That's where I did my primary schooling. I used to go back home to Whitbank during school holidays. I used to look forward to those days because I became the little celebrity going back with new games and songs to teach to my sisters and our friends. We used to play on our bicycles for hours until, in the late, um, until late in the evenings. I remember the flickering lights, the flickering street lights, surrounded by flying insects, signaling that it was time for us to go back home. Our neighborhood was, was safe. Take, oh, I also remember taking my old baby clothes, getting a hiding for taking my old baby clothes from my mother's wardrobe and using them for my baby dolls. Technically, those hand-me-downs were mine. But little did I know that they were, they were reserved for more siblings to come. <laughs> In 1992, I, was, I won a scholarship from ESCOM for my high school. If anyone asked me where in my life I would like to go back, I would say boarding school. Putting Nest High was the name of the high school. Nestled in the outskirts of Kailami, it is now called Summit College. Academically, I was average, but I excelled in everything else. I did very well in sports. I took up tennis, basketball, cross country. I even got selected to try for, net, uh, to try for the national colors for netball. I was very popular at school. As if the three names were not enough, my friends nicknamed me Sly. <laughs> now I had four names. My best achievements in high school were um, receiving a Sports Person of the Year award in, in grade nine and receiving the most prestigious award in matric for um, school leavers voted for by the whole school and my peers. But the best of the five years was uh, doing community service, teaching mathematics and English to pupils at Bad Goblin Primary School on William Nicole. I guess as young as I was, uh, it was still fulfilling. I guess the reason for that is that I had always wanted to be a teacher growing up, but the dream of becoming a teacher was soon short-lived when I took up computer studies in grade eight. Information technology in the late 90s was the profession. So what did I do? I went and registered for information technology at the Tswane University of Technology, but I didn't like it very much. So it was a time for a career change and a degree in marketing management was my second choice. I currently work for ESCOM as a senior advisor at Key Accounts we import and export to the CEDEC, electricity to the CEDEC region. I'm responsible for accounts in Namibia, Botswana, and Swaziland. I have a beautiful nine-year-old daughter named Kensani. I married her father in 2003, but it turned out to be not so compatible. I love cooking and baking for my family. To kill time, 
I go to the cinema. <laughs> I go to the cinema to watch movies. Yes, I'm old fashioned like that. And I'm a sucker for romantic comedies and thrillers. Well, you're probably asking yourself now how my names help me remember different situations and the people that I come into contact with. The first one, Busisi with, I associate that one with um, business, the informer. Because most of the time, those um, telemarketers, when they call, uh, it's Busisi with. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Zodwa, when someone calls me that, I know the person knows me from home, it's family, it's close people, it's relatives. I go by the name Sylvia at work, so I associate that one with my profession, and I also use the same name here. And the last one, um, Sly. If someone calls me that, I know they know me from high school, or they know someone who knows me from high school. Thank you. Thank you.